Hi YouTube. In this video we're going to talk about the Uni Kuru Toga Roulette Model Mechanical Pencil. Okay, well here's a close-up. You can see everything's in Japanese. And this one is called the Uni. You can see right in there it says Uni. Kuru Toga. Toga, 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 Toga. It is a roulette mechanical pencil. The back is all in Japanese, so um, my Japanese is really, really rusty. But the whole premise of this pencil is that when you write with it, that the lead should stay sharp as you're writing because the lead will rotate. Let's, uh, let's take a close look at this. See, that way I can latch it back again if I want. Oh, my job is not done yet. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll not put it back in there. Wow. Okay. Now I want you to take a look at this pencil here. Ah! Mechanical pencil. The Uni Kuru Toga. Now I've read some things about this pencil online. And um, apparently they were, they were talking about the model that was made of plastic. This, if this is plastic, sure sounds more like metal to me. <clears throat> and it feels really nice. It's light. It's kind of like aluminum or something here. You know, this, this grip, if you could see that grip. That is really nice. And it has some kind of a window here for something. And I'm not quite sure what looks like uh looks like it moved when I hmm. I try to try to write with this. The whole idea is this thing is supposed to rotate, so let's see. And I was down in New York and, well, that's cool. Okay, that's awesome. I was watching this, and what this thing did is it actually went around and then came right back again. It was showing that this thing is actually rotating the pencil lead. So that you always have a sharp uh, tip on here. This is really beautiful. This is the best looking one that I have so far. Now does it unscrew or anything? I hate to... Well this does right here. I wonder... hope no springs come out or anything. That would kind of be a bummer. But there you go. This little metal thing. and Oh you can even hear it. As I'm turning this thing, and you can see right there, see that thing? That thing's turning. Oh. And as I'm pushing on it, I could feel it. There it goes, it just turned all the way. Wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, put that back. I don't want to break my new pencil here. It's very handsome. Now this part I pulled off a little earlier here. And what that does is it exposes this eraser. Now the eraser works good. Though what I do notice is that you have uh, you have a little play. You can see the little play there. 
So as you're racing, you have this wobbly feel to it, kind of wobbling as you're a racing. And, uh, you know, you, you may or may not like that. Ooh, okay, well, that comes out. And um, looks like the eraser is adjustable. You can adjust it, and I imagine you can replace it. Now, I hear something in there. I wonder if that's a spare or anything. Well, if it is, it's certainly not showing. And there's a, there's a hole in there. And I imagine that uh, you could probably just put the lead through there and it will come out here. That would be my best guess. If that's a bad guess and you're familiar with this pencil, feel free to leave a comment down below. That's what that area is for. is a free flow of discussion. And of course, as you click, it uh, brings it out. I'm going to hold it down and I should be able to push it back in, which I can. That's good. So I could adjust it just right. There we go. This is this one that I have here, as you can see, is the 0.5 millimeter. Right there, you can see that. Now the reason I have, I don't I don't really like using mechanical pencils the right way. I I like using regular pencils such as you know these. Um, so why do I why would I like this particular pencil? For me personally, uh, is for detailed art. For example, and let me uh, scrunch down in here. Especially with this rotating tip, it's going to be nice that I don't have to keep turning my pencil, which is what I do when I draw. This one here will do it automatically, but I, when I'm drawing details, like if I wanted to draw skin or something, I can just come in here and just keep going like that and I just noticed it's snowing outside. Wow. Okay. And there you go. See, and I, great for details. But of course, for those who like to also write with mechanical pencils, it's definitely a nice pencil. Let me show you a drawing that I'm currently working on. I'm going to have to remove the camera here so I can take you for a little walk. It's my latest project here. Let's see. There we go. All right. Get the light turned on. Okay. That's a pencil drawing of my wife. Pretty face. And over there is what I'm getting it from. This is my wife and and that's me. That's my ugly mug. And this was taken five years ago on our 25th wedding anniversary. And so I'm drawing. That's her I, I drew there. That's all pencil. And mechanical pencils is what I use to draw these little details that you see here, you know. My wife's like, get rid of that. No, I gotta draw what I see. But all these little details of the of the eyes and and in everything. Every little tiny detail that you see in the mouth here. Okay, inside the corners of the mouth and all that. Little details. Um, I like to use mechanical pencils. And I have a whole bunch of mechanical pencils. So This mechanical pencil, the Uni Kuru Toga, is now going to be a mainstay in my mechanical pencils tools to draw these little details and so forth. So that, for those of you who like to draw like I do, um, excellent, nice, 
and for those who like to write with it it feels great in the hand I think it's pretty awesome that uh, it is um, self-rotating I think that's a pretty interesting feature anyway that's it for the review okay well the pencils now put away but there you go that's it all right thanks folks uh, real quick video here but uh, great pencil please give me a thumbs up if you like the video please leave a, a, a comment below subscribe uh, and I'll see you next time